Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taster of whiskey.com. And today we have another bottle of the elements of Isla. This time it's the bourbon cask. It's 54.5 ABV and it's priced around 60. It's unchill filtered, uncolored, uh, shows no age statement, but look at this wonderful golden color. So there are good casks in it and every batch of this uh, bottling consists out of 60 casks so this is quite a huge number of bottles coming up coming out of those casks and uh, these bottle uh, these casks come from distilleries from the north and the south of Isla uh, which distilleries no idea and they I think do not have the right to publish the name of those cars they received. Typically uh, in the moment I know of there are uh, Kalila, uh, Beaumont, uh, Bunahaven and if, uh, I don't know if the new ones uh, offer casks as well. No idea but there are uh, unpeated and peated whiskies. Uh, available for the independent bottlers and uh, well they made a mixture out of ex bourbon cast and they write here on the label the flavor profile is cold smoke tropical fruit maple syrup mm. Oliver Chilton is the head blender so here we go this bottle looks small as if it was a 0.5 liter bottle but no it's a full 0.7 liter bottle and it's thick so therefore the color appears quite dark it's 54.5 so there is no uh, big dilution um, so that the color isn't that uh, light so but I have my water here that I uh, will dilute it so 54.5 is too much for me not too much smoke on the cork I just had one from the elements of Isla the cask added and that has smoke in it probably this one is uh, less peated than the others yeah sweet aroma little vanilla very good tropical fruits and a hint of smokiness not too much not too big so if you want to start with a uh, peated whiskey uh, yeah with the peated whiskey or the smoky whiskey this one might be the right one it's not too strong with the smoke yeah I have a few drops of water just to bring it down below 50 to keep the character of the high strength but uh, do not have it that intense that my tasting buds uh, will get paralyzed yeah a little more fruitiness now quite friendly in the nose cheers starting oily gentle and then building up with the cask as we had with the cask edit and there's a vanilla note there's a light sweet note and sweet oily note in it vanilla and light spiciness from the cask friendly spiciness so this is ex bourbon cask American white oak not hefty sherry cask which typically tend to more intense uh, tannins and more uh, nuttiness almonds no this one is uh, more gentle smooth elegant but distinct spiciness from the cask as well yeah mm -hmm. not that smoky but intense and really an Isla style from the term of being yeah complex full massive that's it for today 
Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned.